Hola perras, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So, I know you guys are probably curious because I don't have a background today. To be honest, I was too lazy to do it. So please don't mind my house. I know it's a little chaotic, but my house is small, whatever. Um, today we're doing another drunk makeup look, but this, uh, but this time around, I actually started drinking before I started filming. So we're just going to get right into it. We're just going to get right into it, girl. I have my friend Diana here. She's going to go ahead and tell me the questions you guys ask as I give you guys the life update. Uh, so the questions are going to go last. Uh, but I did ask you guys for some suggestions on some makeup and I let Diana choose what she wanted to see me do from those suggestions. She actually chose Annabelle, suggested by Jasmine, my little cousin. So we're gonna go ahead and get started because I don't know what the fuck Annabelle looks like. Well, I know what she looks like, I just don't know how to do her makeup. I'll be using my Mayron palette. It's a very basic palette. Um, this is what I'm using and yeah, I always have to, I need to get, and this is the colors that come in it. You could tell that it's a little messy from my last time, but I'm excited to uh, redo this. Let's, let's do it. So this is gonna be the referral picture. How is that? This is a referral picture that we're gonna be using for Annabelle. <laughs> but her face isn't white, that's the thing. Everyone is like painting her fa their face white, but her face isn't white. It's just a little dirty, but it's white. Um, let's get started. We're gonna start off with a white base. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of the white base. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that. We're gonna go ahead and start off with a white base. So let's start with work. No, it's work should be last. So let's start with my love life. Should we? That's gonna be quick. Yeah, my love life is gonna be a really quick segment. <laughs> segment, like I actually have segments on this show. So my love life is pretty non-existent right now. Uh, I'm on Tinder, I'm on Grindr, I'm on Bumble, and I'm on Hinge. So if you see me on one of those, uh, make sure to swipe right and tell me how much you love me. Um, Although I think everyone who watches my videos uh, don't, they don't like me. I have gone on dates. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I have gone on dates. Fuck, it's so hard to concentrate. I have gone on dates. Uh, one of the guys, the last guy I went on a date with uh, was like last month. I think it was last month to Why be. Are you talking about? Um, yeah, let's not say. You know what? what his name? No. Uh, I can't say his name because everybody's like, oh, Diana, I'm so white. I actually went on a date. Dude, this is not what Annabelle looks like. I went on a date with this guy and he was really nice to me. Oh my God, <laughs> made it worse. I went on a date with this guy and honestly, he was really nice. I really enjoyed my time with him. But bitch, let me tell you something. It was a date for one of us. The bitch didn't even like me. <laughs> he told me that we were friends. So uh, we're only friends. But honestly, I'm cool with it though, because when I did meet him for the first time, I did flirt, don't get me wrong. Moral of the story is, I kind of figured that we were just gonna be friends. Like, I didn't feel any sexual tension or anything like that. And I'm a person where if you wanna be my boo thing, you gotta act on it quick. Like, you can, if we go on a first date, hold my hand, do something. Tell me you're interested, you know? I don't do this bullshit of, uh, like, I don't know, because if not, you're gonna get friend zone. And if I friend zone you, it's really hard to get out of it. So that was the last guy I went on a date with. Another guy I went on a date with, we went to the beach and he was really fucking rude to me. He told me like, have you ever been to the beach? Because I kept on looking at the beach at night. He was like, have you never been to the beach? I've been to the beach, bitch. I fucking brought you here. What do you mean, have I ever been to the beach? That's my love life, you know? It's literally, <laughs> it's literally non-existent. And the one guy that I was like maybe interested in, uh, he friends on me and I friends on him right back. So even if he wants to like try to move forward, it's not gonna work. Um, she has like rosy cheeks, right? Wait, which one? With that. Like Either way, I think she has rosy cheeks. We're gonna do rosy yeah. cheeks. That's a cute pink. What do you want to know about? Oh my, like um. <laughs> it's supposed to go right here on the apples of your cheek, on the side. Like here. A ver, déjame verla. Let me see her. Dude, you're here for this. Don't yell at her. 
Do not yell at her. She is a Taurus. <laughs> you yelled at me! <laughs> okay, let me bring her closer. Just a little bit. <laughs> no, I think you can come off. Should I go wash my face? I'm gonna go wash my face. No, I'll just Dude, it's me. just... No, please. Yes, it's going to fight. Yes, okay. I feel like I should watch this one. Diana wants me to talk about friendships. Um, so I made a new friend during quarantine. <laughs> he friends told me. Okay, so let's talk about friendship. Did I lose a friend? I feel like I lost a friend. Did I lose a friend? Did I tell you guys about fighting with a friend? Oh, I did fight with a friend actually. Now I think about it. Um, I did lose a friend at the beginning of the year, but that's fine. Um <laughs> Because, I mean, no offense to her. She's a great person and all. Like, don't get me wrong. She really is. Like, I love her to death. Um, I like her. But, um, you know, like, people just grow apart. And some people, like, fall in love. And they just, like, ignore you. And you try to tell them, like, hey, this person's toxic or whatever. And she'll just call you crazy. Why do you paint my lips? So yeah, so that's basically my friendships. <sighs> Fuck, this is hard. Should we talk about YouTube? Oh, I should talk about YouTube. So I know you guys are thinking like, oh, Omar, where were you? Uh, like, why haven't you posted? And I know no one is actually saying that, but I'm just saying that you guys are saying that so I can feel better about myself, but I know no one cares. <laughs> to be honest, uh, it was really hard to come up with content and to like, um, think about that people care. I'm just gonna go with it. Yeah. Can I see the picture? Um, me neither, bitch. YouTube and stuff, it's been really hard. Is that black li lip liner? Mm -hmm. Oh god, Annabelle, honey. It's dark red. The lip liner? Mm -hmm. Fuck. Well, let me see the eyebrows again. So, I know no one cares about, uh, um, where I've been on YouTube. Um, you how did I do it wrong? <laughs> I only saw this one. The one on your right is good. The one on your left is... It's a, it's a little high. I can't see because she's wearing bangs. Where was I going with this? Oh yeah, so you guys are asking where I've been and stuff. And honestly, it's really hard to come up with content. And not just that, but it's really hard to stay happy and motivated with YouTube. It sucks because I feel like I try so hard and I don't feel like I get the views. Um, and then if people view them, I don't even get the con- Like, I don't get comments on it. So I don't even know if people are watching or if these are just like random as views. Are I don't know. Watching? I don't get like comments on them and stuff. So I get like really demotivated. Like, I know I filmed videos in the past and I just don't post them. Because I'm like, no one's gonna watch this. I don't feel motivated and stuff. But then I did the last drunk makeup look and I was like, I'm gonna do this. Like, this is something that I'm having fun doing because one, I get drunk and two, this is fucking funny. But I started working. A bitch got a job and I started working and I, for a month and a half. Well, a month and a week. But um, a bitch started working and when I started working, I just, I didn't have time for this. I was working like six days a week, 40 hours a week. And everybody knows when I start working, I just, on my days off, I like to have them off. So I don't even pay attention to my YouTube and all that because as much as I love YouTube, as much as I want it to be my career, as much as I want to be an entertainer. Um, yeah. That's another job. That's, that's something else. But, my little cousins watch this. Yeah, she, your little cousin requested that. Oh yeah, she did, huh? Ah! Okay, so... <laughs> Oh, YouTube doesn't pay. YouTube does not pay. So it's really hard to stay motivated. If I had people like constantly sending me messages like, hey, you know what? This video was good. Not even people, just like three people tell me like, hey, you know what? I saw your video. It was really good. It was really funny. I would continuously be posting because I'd be like, I had three people that are. I just told you that. When was the last time you saw my video? The last time you posted. Oh, well, I'm going to do this for Diana. What else was Annabelle have? Like red lip liner, huh? And blue eyeshadow. Blue eyeshadow. Eyeshadow? I never applied eyeshadow in my life. Uh, why am I closing this side to apply it on this side? Okay. Skinny. 
<laughs> I look like Captain Spaulding Bro, fuck a house of a thousand quarters. <laughs> this is not Annabelle. Annabelle is like, what? I have a question, but you already answered. Why did you quit? Oh, so, uh, w w oh, hold on. Um, okay, so now let's talk about what everybody wants and What's that? It's really hard to do this. Okay, let's talk about my professional life. Um, I'm not professional. And this is my life. This is... I look like a clown. Jesus Christ. In summary, yes, I do lose a friend. Yes, I don't have a boyfriend. Um, if you're single and want to date me, hello. <laughs> Would you date this if I put this on my YouTube? Someone said you busy this weekend. Okay, hold up. Let me answer a fucking question at a time. Sorry, it's Because like, you made me take another shot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Not a question. I'm so proud and happy. Hold on, please, please. Diana, please. You're adding to my anxiety. I'm Why literally. Did you quit? Where are you going next? Diana, please. <laughs> I feel like Diana was the wrong person to ask. She just, she just wants to get over this, but you can't rush perfection, sweetie. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and talk professionally wise. And a question that was asked to me. With that face. Dude, please. I'm trying. Okay, so um, professionally wise, and why, uh, where I am now. As some of you guys know, I did get a job, uh, and I'm not gonna, s for like legal reasons, I'm not gonna say where I got a job. So, um, I got a job, but to some of your guys' surprise, after a month, I quit. What? And let me tell y'all something. Okay. She has, she has little, little, little thingies, huh? Okay. I know some of you guys are thinking like, why'd you quit? Why'd you quit? And I know you guys are thinking that because you guys asked me. <laughs> so let me tell you guys something about this little place that I used to work at for a month. Okay, so let me tell you guys why you quit. Um, one, it's a very toxic work environment. And when I say that, I like, I genuinely mean it. I genuinely did not like working there. Uh, not just that, but like the people that work there made it very hard for me to work there. Um, the manager talked shit uh, about the supervisor and assistant manager. The supervisor from my store was talking shit about me to my colleagues, like to other people that weren't even hiring management. She was talking shit about me. Uh, you weren't able to help out a guest without them talking bad about you. I literally know a girl who got fired because she helped out a person for 12 minutes and this person did not buy anything. So they said you were wasting time. There was cameras in there at all times watching what we were doing. And if we were doing something that we weren't supposed to be doing, in other words, just standing around because there was nothing to do, uh, the supervisor would get a text saying, why isn't so-and-so doing anything? Um, there was also microphones, which I know is illegal in the state of California to be recording someone's audio without their knowledge. So there was uh, microphones all over the store and in the break room to record our audio and basically pick up our things like they were they were stalking us from home like the owner the owner was also a trump supporter but this bitch literally bought hats from like donald trump's website and um to support his campaign and then sold resold them in the store for profit Ew. yeah she's disgusting uh not just that but she was such a micromanager and she was so fucking rude to us like so rude like with our messages and stuff keep in mind we would not get our schedule for monday until sunday night so i could even plan accordingly ahead does that make sense i couldn't make plans for my week because i can't take myself seriously because this bitch would literally tell me at sunday like 9 p.m like hey you're off tomorrow or hey you know what you're working tomorrow if i wanted to book a test for covid and all that i wouldn't know because she wouldn't tell us so shit like it was super annoying um there was like eyes on us at all times even when we were taking a break like if we took 11 minutes 12 minutes for a break it was like where were you now we're falling behind on breaks like it's super annoying um we never got a compliment unless it was a hey you did good 
but you suck because they didn't buy anything. And it was just like, what the fuck do you want from us? Like, there was times where I literally would go help out at the math section because I was asked to help out at the math session. And then I would get yelled at because I wasn't at my original position. It was just like, hey, I understand you want to help out at math, but you need to be in your original position. Like, bitch, I was fucking here because you sent me here. What the fuck do you want? And like, you could just never do anything right there. I have to go pee. <laughs> she also tripled the prices on everything. So like, if something was like $30 on Amazon, she would buy it off of Amazon and then sell it for $90, $70. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, this store was so bad. And she would get mad if we told them like, you know what, you can get the same shit at Spirit or at fucking Amazon for like half the price. Like, she would get furious. You're not allowed to have your phone in there because you're not allowed to fucking compare prices. But bitch, if you're my friend, if I like you, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you, girl, go, what you doing here spending your fucking money? Go somewhere else, bitch. You know, like, it's just, it's, it's not it. Um, and she had no shame. She would make her fucking place. Oh, another thing, you weren't allowed to buy anything from Magnolia. Magnolia is like where the store is at. Like, we weren't allowed to go to Mystic Museum. I fucking love Mystic Museum. That's where I get my sage and shit. Because you know me, I'm a bruja. But, um, you're not allowed to go ahead and do that shit. Like, if you get caught buying from another store, you will get fired on the spot. And they make you Why? sign it. The bitch is crazy. Here's the thing. She said, if you went into another store, that's opening an invitation for them to go into our store. And if they go into our store, they will steal our ideas. And they will make sure, like, they will take our ideas. It's a Halloween store, you dumb bitch. Fucking go to Spirit. They sell the same shit. You don't think they're stealing your ideas? You're a fucking moron. But yeah, that bitch is crazy, dude. Like, condescending bitch, dude. Like, I hated her. I hated her. I hated working there. It literally, no job is worth your mental health. And honestly, that job was costing me my mental health, and that's why I quit. And that's why my mama said, good job, boo. My mom was so proud of me when I quit. Ooh, Lord, let me tell you that. My mom was so proud of me that I quit. She was so ecstatic. She said, fuck them bitches. My mom wanted to go in there and cuss them out. Honestly, me too, the fuck? That was a freaking... That was a frequently asked question uh, by people. Okay, next question. Next question. Mm -hmm. Someone said you busy this weekend. Um, I am actually. With two hearts and a monkey. I am busy. I'm so sorry that I'm busy. I'm doing good, sweetie. Do you see me? I'm doing good. Honestly, I ever since I quit, I'm feeling so much better. The same person. Okay. Any plans for Halloween? Um, do I have any plans for Halloween? Uh, no. As of now, no. Do I want to have plans? Yes. But I, I don't want to do, like, too much, but I'd love to, like... i love to do something. Um, probably watch like a horror movie with someone or something. I don't know. What's your dream in life? What's my dream in life? My dream in life is to be on Big Brother or be successful, be an entertainer, like a social media entertainer. I don't think if I want to be an influencer, because can you imagine this being an influencer? Um, but, um, I'd love to be on Big Brother. Big Brother's obviously been my dream. If you knew me, you'd know that that was my dream. <laughs> you already answered, but why did you quit? And the other question, where are you going next? So, one of the per uh, another person asked me where I uh, why I quit and where I'm going to next. Where I'm going to next is a great question. I uh, The people that I used to work with also told me, like, what do you have backed up because I quit and stuff. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going next. Um, I quit because I... I sensed my depression, I sensed my anxiety, and I it was so bad working there that I knew it was best for me to quit. Where I'm going to next, I don't know. I really don't. I hope that my YouTube for some reason blows up or something and I could just do this full time. But right now, I don't know where I'm going next. That's a great question because if you know the answer, tell me because I don't know. Not a question, but I'm so proud and happy for you. 
Who said that? Oh, thank you, Renee. They just told me that they're proud of me, and honestly, that means a lot to me because I've gone through hell and back like this past two years. Mm -hmm. Oh, and for the record, this is the first. I know it doesn't seem like it, but for the first time in a five years, I think this is the first time where I've legitimately not been depressed or like full of anxiety during the month of October, and it's so weird, and it's so. And yeah, it's so nice to like say it and actually enjoy October. It's the first time in like six years or something that I don't feel depressed and I'm really happy to say that. Like I'm just so happy to say that. Okay, so if I had to encounter La Llorona, the grudge and a ghost, how would I react to it? So this is what would happen, ready? If I saw a ghost, because this has happened before, I have seen a ghost, this is how I react. But then I am like cool with it, because honestly, what are ghosts gonna do, kill you? A ghost can't kill me. You, you know how, me? yeah, exactly. What are you gonna do, stab me with like the knife and like, oh, no. Ghosts are so nice and so polite. Like, yeah, they might like scare you a little bit. I've encountered a lot of ghosts. This house right here, haunted. Um. They're really nice. They're really nice. Oh, However, here. yeah, they're really nice. I really enjoy them. Wow. Um, they scared me. Don't get me wrong. They scare me. So okay, I grew a ghost. Did you see a ghost? In here, actually, one oh, time. Like where? In this kitchen. One time I came in during Halloween Horror Nights. I turned on the lights and the and the chair right there, like, flung open by itself. And you know what I did? Picked that shit back up. I picked it back. I did get scared, but I picked it right back up and I put it. And let me tell you something. It flung open. And you said goodnight? No, I didn't say goodnight. I, I sat down on that same damn chair and I ate my Carl's Jr. Because I know that ghost was just like, hey. This is your last question. My last question. This is for your little cousin. <laughs> just kidding. If you were ever to audition in a movie, what movie and what part? If I ever got to audition for a movie, it would be for Scream. Mm -hmm. Scream 5 or whatever. And uh, this, is what, this would be my audition. Let me audition for you right now. I'm just saying no. Um. <laughs> oh this is your edition, not mine. Hello. Oh. It's me. Hello. Annabelle. Oh. Who is this? Oh, yeah. Annabelle, I just fucking said her. Anyway, so what do you want? I want to see where your insides is look like. Billy? Billy. Billy from Jigsaw. Billy Eilish? <gasps> I got that a lot. I got that all. I tried to scream. <laughs> uh -huh. But my head was in too wide. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click a like. I never do that. Why am I doing that now? Don't you do that? No, I don't. I just kind of hit the outro and then I'm just like, do, 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 like the little meme music. Yeah. And I'm literally like drunk as fuck in the back, like. Thank <laughs> you.